Derek Old School Fournier reporting to you live from Raymond James Stadium. The conclusion of night practice just occurred, though I don't know if that's the proper tense. The fireworks just went off. We actually have a version of this video we may put as B-reel that has the firework finale going off behind me. I don't know if you could actually hear me in it, but it's probably entertaining to watch. And there were a lot of fireworks on the field tonight as well. For Bucks fans, we definitely wanted to see contact because a lot of the questions that surround our team are about what our defense is going to be able to do to get, pe get penetration and pressure. We want to see what the defensive line and the linebackers can do. That front seven are going to be so critical this year and whether the defense can turn around a woeful pass defense that we had last year. Now, that being said, our offense needs to show some stuff too. We've got a bunch of new receivers trying to figure out who that third receiver is going to be is something we've been asking questions about. And I think we got some, some hints tonight. Now, certainly no answers. And as we tweeted live and we tweet at what the buck, there are a lot of people that were saying, hey, it's just a third practice. Hey, relax, these sorts of things. Hey, we get it. That being said, these training camp sessions are really our only window until we get to preseason about who's doing what in practice. And one thing I can tell you is in the third wide receiver battle, people thought Taquan Underwood and Kevin Ogletree were going to kind of run away with that spot. And while Taquan had a nice catch from Mike Glennon down the seam that we thought was a touchdown but was called back, um, really, Hagens uh, and Page, uh, two guys that a lot of folks don't know about, looked great tonight. They looked excellent coming in and out of their breaks, showed great hands, showed great speed. Now. This is just one practice. We definitely saw them show up yesterday on tape, too. And these are guys that, that you may not even see during the year. But right now, those are guys that I think if you're coming to camp, you should pay attention to because they showed some stuff today. A lot of folks are asking about the tight end position. I was talking to my friend from Joe Buck's fan. Uh, you know, Crabtree is definitely the guy who seems to be separating from others. He's got the size, he's got the hands, and he definitely showed some of it tonight, which he didn't yesterday when I was at camp. Now, when it comes to contact, we definitely saw the offensive line moving people around. In individual pass rush drills, they seemed to own the defensive line one-on-one. -on -one. We saw Daquan Bowers get through with a nice bull rush, but generally speaking, everyone, including Gabe Karimi, looked very good on the offensive line. On the defensive line, when we went to 11-on-11, 11 11, everyone seemed to look pretty good. We got some good penetration, but in the two-minute drills, Josh moved the, the team down the field. In fact, it was a handoff off left tackle to Brian Leonard that went about 25 yards, I think, for a touchdown in that two-minute drive. And then the other direction, they got into field goal range under the, at the helm of Mike Glennon, uh, but, but Mr. Tynes missed the field goal, which of course elicited boos from the local Tampa crowd here at a night practice for your new kicker. Uh, hashtag sarcasm, if you haven't picked up on that tone. Now, Joe McCoy, for people that are wondering if it was a one-hit wonder, if you think it was only one year that he was good, which is probably incorrect in my opinion anyway, looked great tonight. He was blowing up plays left and right. That being said, in 11-on-11, 11 11, him getting the penetration wasn't enough to stop the play. If we were going full contact, would he have gotten in there, maybe disrupted the play, got a sack, these sorts of things? Possibly, possibly, but he definitely did look good. Linebackers look great in coverage. They're doing some great individual drills with them as well. Uh, but the big thing that I'm going to take away from this practice was the intensity that I wanted yesterday, we got that tonight. The intensity was there from the beginning till the end, even with the slower individual practice stuff that we did early. My big concern, which was my big concern yesterday, which is everybody's big concern if they're watching the team, is accuracy from the quarterbacks. It's not one quarterback, it's all the quarterbacks. Josh, Mike, Dan, Adam, all four of these quarterbacks are not demonstrating consistent accuracy. And yes, I get it, third practice. Guess what, these guys have been throwing footballs for a long time. It's just like receivers dropping the ball, hashtag Mike Williams. It's in the job description. If your receiver catch the ball, if your quarterback throw the ball on target, we had a number of places where receivers were open, balls were just completely thrown, out of, out of range for them to make the catch. Other times where they were thrown in positions where the receiver had to make Herculean efforts, and even then, you hurt the play. This is not the way we need to get things done. Now, third practice, we'll be back next week checking out more stuff. I definitely expect to see progress. This isn't a chicken little report, but it is saying this accuracy is something we've got to get on top of and figure out what the deal is. So. If you want to find more information about What the Buck, get to whatthebuck.net. Follow us on Twitter, at WhatTheBuck, and we'll be back for the next report.